So, Ellen, uh, Kamala Harris has certainly energized Democrats, but can you break down for us specifically how her nomination changes the race for the Oval Office? Well, Adrian, part of the reason Democrats are just so excited right now is because Kamala Harris has opened up more paths to victory than they had a few weeks ago. Now, remember, it all comes down to who can get 270 electoral college votes. Each state has a certain number of votes, and before any ballots are cast, it's a safe bet how most of the states are going to go. So really, the entire election comes down to these seven key battleground states that we have in gray here. Now, just to talk about each of them more specifically, we'll start with Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. We talk a lot about those, part of the American Rust Belt, the industrial heartland. Now, when Joe Biden was the candidate, this was the only path to victory for the Democrats. They were going to have to hold on to every single one of those states, and that was looking tough, according to the polls. Now, with Kamala Harris, there's a bit more wiggle room for the Democrats. Of course, they still want to win these states, particularly Pennsylvania, with its 19 electoral college votes. And polling has shown that Kamala Harris has closed the gap in all three of these states. But they do have a bit more wiggle room. There is a bit of pressure off them in the Rust Belt now. And that's because the Sun Belt swing states are all of a sudden now back in play, which they weren't a few weeks ago. So we're talking about places like North Carolina and Georgia in the east. Georgia is a big one. Biden won it narrowly in 2020. But Democrats were considering it to be a lost cause this time around. Same with North Carolina. Trump won it in 2020 and 2016. It's Republican leaning. But now polls show a neck and neck race in both of those states. One poll even had Kamala Harris leading in North Carolina. It's a similar story when we look to the West in Nevada and Arizona. Harris has also closed the gap uh, in those states as well. Biden won those states narrowly in 2020, but Donald Trump was beating him in the polls. So all of a sudden, in just a few weeks, we're looking at entirely different race, Kamala Harris gaining ground in places where Joe Biden was struggling, and those leads that Donald Trump had now shrinking, in some cases, polling, having Kamala Harris ahead, Adrian. So that's interesting about the states. Can you take us through the individual voters within those states who are the ones giving her a better chance? Well, Kamala Harris has made big gains with voters that Democrats need to win. So let's start by looking at black support. We can show you the latest polling from the New York Times showing Kamala Harris has an 84% support level among black voters. That's a 10% jump from what Joe Biden had when he was still the candidate. And that really matters in those key states of North Carolina and Georgia, where black voters are about a third of the electorate. Now, that same poll from the New York Times also looked at Hispanic voter support, specifically in Arizona and Nevada, finding a significant lead for Harris over Donald Trump among Hispanic voters in those states. She's doing much better than Biden was. And that's important because Hispanic voters are about 20% of voters in Nevada and Arizona. Uh, other polling nationally and in these swing states is showing Kamala Harris doing much better among women than Joe Biden was and also picking up a lot of support among young voters. One poll had her 20 points ahead of Donald Trump among young voters. So things are looking up for the Democrats, but a few key points to make. One, polling still says that voters say the economy and immigration are their two most important issues, and Trump tends to poll better on those two issues. Some voters say they're still getting to know Kamala Harris. Polls are a snapshot in time. They have been wrong before. And of course, Adrian, we are still just in August. There is still a very long way to go. Absolutely. And Democrats are constantly reminding themselves that Donald Trump outperforms the polls. Exactly. Ellen Morrow, thank you. You're welcome.